Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Athena and I put out new videos on Thursdays and every other Monday. Today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using Maybelline. I definitely think that probably Maybelline is my favorite drugstore brand. Excuse my hair, it's clearly wet and I just got out of the shower. And I was like, I'm not going to dry it, I'm not going to style it, because I just don't really care. That's like way too much time. So I think the first thing I'm going to do today is browse, just because of the product. I might need to clean it up, so I think, I think we'll do that first. The Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel, I guess. It's the one that lasts two days 257 medium brown it's definitely not a bad product it's good i just for me i i have i have eyebrows they're not overly sparse so for me i just don't necessarily need this and i just find like the first day is usually like pretty bold because it's not a product that you rinse off. You can use the actual applicator that it comes with. That shit's thick, like, no. I don't like that. I am going to grab an eyebrow angled brush or like a liner brush, either will do. This one is from BH Cosmetics and I am just going to brush up my eyebrows first. And then I'm just going to dip my brush right into the product so in my um last get ready with me i mentioned that i was going to the dermatologist that week I think so I went back to the dermatologist and I'm on another topical cream so a bitch is super freaking dry I only apply the cream well basically everywhere just not my nose area um, so I apply it on the forehead and like the cheek and I am using um, as a moisturizer I'm using like a, what is it called like a repairing balm so that's what I'm wearing right now so it's very like thick and dewy and it's not helping my nose area at all certain foundations i cannot wear um i have to be careful with powder and stuff i've only been using this shit for a week and <sighs> yeah this is tea if you care probably not it's um earl Gray crap. Of course, I'm going to move on to my eyes. As usual, I'm going to prime with concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I love this. Oh my god, what color is this? Okay. Okay, good. This is shade 15. I'm going to use a Nude by Nature large shadow brush just to blend that out. Okay, I don't know what in the world is going on with my eyes, but like, they're a little tender. I'm going to use the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. Doesn't smell like anything if you care. It does not smell like lemonade. On a Morphe M5, nope, that's wrong. On a Morphe M330, I'm going to take Sherbert. And I'm going to put that in the crease, even though it is pretty much my skin color, but that's fine. It's the transition to my transition. It is a little powdery if you care about that stuff. Personally, I don't. I care more about the actual blendability than the fallout. Now I'm going to take... Sherbert and mix that with sweet tea. I don't understand how brands test on animals still. Like, I just. What? I do know that, like, in 
China. They do have a law, I think, that in order for you to sell, I'm just gonna go in only with sweet tea now. Um, what was I saying? How in China there's a law that if you want to sell cosmetics that they have to be tested on animals. Which has a huge population. I get it, like from a business standpoint, how many sales you'd be losing, sure. If I had a company, I would literally just not sell in those kinds of countries that have that crazy law. Another thing that makes no sense to me is the fact that just because, for example, Smashbox, Smashbox is cruelty free. Yes. But they, I'm pretty sure, are owned by Estee Lauder who still tests on animals. So even though Smashbox doesn't test on animals, the people that own Smashbox still do. You're still under the umbrella still, like I just... I'm going to take old fashioned, same brush, and we're just going to put that on the outer corner here. So shadow wise, it's definitely not a bad palette. Again, it is drugstore. I believe I want to say it was under 20 bucks, but I'm definitely finding there's a lot of reapplying, blending, just because it kind of disappears. But I mean, if you're on a budget, this absolutely definitely works. It's like not patchy, it's blending out nice. I need this one, yes. This is the uh, Nude by Nature Lip Brush. And I'm gonna wet my brush. I just have some Vichy Thermal Spray. I don't have like a setting spray or any anything from Maybelline, so. We're gonna use this. Um, I think I might take Sugar Coated. It's kind of like a copper. Wow, that's crazy. And I'm gonna put that everywhere. On the face, there is a tiny bit of fallout, nothing too crazy. I'm just going to spritz my brush again. I'm only using one side of this brush because I'm going to dip into another color on the other side. I wish I had better posture. Like, can we sit up straight? No. I'm going to take a bit of citrus, kind of in the center. I mean, the color didn't really do too much, but. So I don't have a primer from Maybelline, so I'm just going to honestly just move right in onto foundation. I, on clear out, I bought this for six bucks, like this. That's a good deal. This is the uh, Maybelline Superstay Foundation in in 118 Light Beige. Honestly, the colors aren't great. I had a little bit of a hard time picking my color. Uh, I think the reason why is because this color is not a part of our regular line. This is definitely the best drugstore full coverage foundation that I've tried. Um, I'll be honest, I don't get to try out too many drugstore products anymore. Concealer, I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me.
I'm gonna take the Morphe 438 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is in shade 10. Because I am quite dry, I'm really gonna, really gonna tap that off. I am now going to take the Nude by Nature finishing brush in the same powder. And I'm going to again really tap that off and then just kind of set. Like some days I am so dry where I can't wear powder. But today we're doing a little better. Mainly what's dry today is just like my nostrils. And again, I don't know why because I don't apply anything there. So I'm just, I don't know. This is new, I found it at Walmart. Uh, this is the Maybelline City Bronzer in 200. But I think I'm gonna take more of like a fluffier brush. This is the Nude by Nature Angled Blush Brush. And I'm just gonna tap like one time, cause again, we're not really sure what we're working with here. And I'm just gonna start on the forehead, cause again, we're not sure what we're working with here. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Now we're gonna highlight. I have the Morphe M558. I have a few highlighters, so let's see which one we're gonna use today. They have amazing, they have the best drugstore highlighters for sure. I I feel like the um, Maybelline Puma collab is super random. I don't understand that white and red stick thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe it's blush. I don't know. I'm sure the highlight though is amazing, so I mean like you might need to buy that. The intense versions of the Master Chromes, I have 300 Sandstone Shimmer and then I have 200 Diamond Glow. Maybe we'll mix these, yes. I have a bunch of Maybelline blushes as well. I don't know, I don't think that they make these ones anymore, but I love them. I still have them, I've, amazing. These are the Master Highlight, highlighting blushes. <laughs> I have the Coral, which we might use today. I have the Nude, which we might use today. I'm going to use a Alexi Duo Fiber. This is a 516. I mentioned this before. I love Luxi brushes and I love Duo Fibers, especially for blush. Especially when I may not want a lot, a lot of blush. Okay, uh, let's do some mascara. I didn't bring my eyelash curler over. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And I just have two Maybelline mascaras here. Actually, I'm just gonna use one because this look needs a lash. Hi. Wait, what are you doing, my me? Hi. What do you want to touch in my face? I'm gonna use the Big Shot Colossal Mascara. As for lashes, of course, Maybelline doesn't make any, so I'm just going to use what I have. These are Quo Glamour Lashes in 806. They have redone them since I got these ones. I believe they still do make these ones.
And then for lips, I'm going to use the Maybelline 655 Daringly Nude. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on your post notification, and I will catch you in my next video on Thursday. Right? Yeah. Bye!